Today we'll be doing a head-to-head -head review of two of Amazon's most popular lightweight tripods. Today I'll be reviewing the Fopic and Joilcan aluminum tripods. Both tripods have very similar specs, save one can extend three inches further than the other, can carry just slightly a little bit more weight, and is $20 more than the other. And we're going to see if there's actually any real difference in how they perform. All right, let's see what we get in the box. We'll start off with a faux pick here, and it's a plain black box um, without my, any graphics. And inside, we have a uh, carrying bag, nicely padded, nothing else inside the box. And it comes with a carrying strap, so that's good. And let's see what we get inside of our well padded carrying bag like the tripod itself. A little bag with a, um, looks like an adapter, a connector nut uh, and bolt um, that looks like about the, uh, the half inch. This is the, the standard connector uh, for tripod heads. And a bag with the manual and an Allen wrench. And nothing else. All right, let's take a look at the tripod here. Oh, there is a velvet velvet pouch. I'm guessing that's to carry all your accessories and whatnot and the tripod itself. All right, let's see what we get in the gel can box. Now I can immediately see it has more graphics on it, including I guess a little tagline here, precise control, create masterpieces, which I intend to today. Um, has some graphics, uh, including an illustration of the tripod as well as some of the product features. And inside, we find uh, another nice carrying case, also nicely padded, uh, also with a carrying strap, but uh, no Joil Can graphics on the outside, so that's interesting. Oh, this is nice. It has a much longer zipper, so it's easier to get the tripod in and out. So let's see what we have inside here. Uh, we have a promotional offer to uh, give you a $30 gift card if you contact Joil Can and, uh, and put it on your Facebook, etc., etc. So this is... Um, a uh, enticement uh, to promote the product on social media, which I guess I'm doing right now by making this review video. Um, let's see, oh, an interesting adapter piece, which we'll figure out in a minute, as well as a, another tripod head uh, connector, which I presume to be what connects uh, the perhaps the central pillar to the monopod, but we'll see. We'll look at the, in the manual in a bit and figure that out. Oh, and let's look at the tripod itself. Oh, wait, there's a pouch inside a pouch, or a bag inside of a bag. This looks like the manual and, again, another Allen key. And similarly packed, uh, we have a velveteen pouch that protected the tripod head, but also functions as a carrying pouch for all your little accessories, and the tripod itself. Okay, so let's take a look at these tripods side by side here. We have the Fopic here and the Joil Can uh, on my right. And you can see they're very similar in design, uh, both in terms of uh, overall length and physical dimensions here. Uh, both have a sandbook, sandbag hook uh, at, the, at, their, at their base. Um, similar feeling and construction. And uh, both have very similar um, leg uh, designs and locks. Uh, the, the Allen wrench that's included in both sets are used to uh, unscrew uh, the nuts that hold the legs in place. And at the head, we can see we can see start seeing some differences here. One is how the legs uh, lock in, how the tripod legs lock in. This uses a twist friction type, um, more common in uh, older. Uh, photo and video uh, tripod legs. This uses a snap lock, uh, more common in lighter weight rigs because these are um, plastic. The other thing I noticed is in the tripod heads themselves, very similar. Uh, both um, look to be, both are ball head types with a pan, uh, pan base, but the actual mounts themselves, which are, which appear to be Arca Swiss 
uh, in design um, or compatible. Uh, this one, the Joil Can, is metal. The Fopec is polymer. So that can also be an issue if you ever accidentally drop this. Uh, polymer will tend to snap and break or crack. Aluminum, in, in general, tends to uh, deform and dent. Um, but in general, as you know, metal tends to be a little more, bit more durable. Durable, And um, the bigger difference here between the two is in the foot design. This is just, this is a rubberized foot, which is great for most hard surfaces. But this one is a rubberized and spiked foot. Those are the differences there. Let's see how much, if there's any difference in the weight. What do we have here? We have three, 3.31 pounds. 3.95 pounds. So, actually, even though this weighs less than four pounds, it does weigh a little bit more than half a pound, more than the Fopec. Fully extended, both tripods are over six feet tall at 77 and 77 and a half inches, respectively. The Jolie Can advertises 80 inches when you add the three inch extension. Okay, so what do I think of these two tripods? Well, first, uh, I th I'd like to say that I think they're both pretty well built. In fact, actually, very well built for the price you're paying. Uh, it wasn't a few years ago that you couldn't get quality like this in terms of uh, the features and the light weight without paying well over $150 for a tripod. So it's amazing to me that both of them are, are under 90 and this one's under $70. So I think you're getting a good value whichever of these you, you pick. Now, there are some notable differences between the two and um, are they worth the extra twenty dollars to get the jelly can? Um, perhaps I, you know, I, I actually think it, it think it is. The jelly can's legs are a tad bit more robust and stiff, so um, you can definitely feel the value. Now um, you may want to have the lighter weight, you know, the the less the half pound less in the faux pick, so that might be a deciding factor for you. But for me also, I prefer having the metal um, the metal camera mount as opposed to the polymer type just because I you know from my experience metal is more durable than than polymer um, and I also like that uh, the uh, feet uh, have both spikes and rubberized feet so that's a definitely a plus but I do like the Fopix quick release uh, leg uh, locking mechanism now I know some photographers and videographers out there don't like these because uh, they're inherently not as um, secure as the screw type but the screw types just take a little bit longer uh, to open up and, and lock in actually um, more importantly it takes longer to lock them in so um, I have actually a, uh, a an older tripod from I don't know about 20 years old that has these quick release uh, type um, locks and I've never had a problem with them in all, in all that time so um, even after 20 years they haven't worn out on me so uh, I'm not inherently I'm not uh, overly concerned about uh, this type so um, which one's right for you well you're gonna have to decide that for yourself uh, but if you're interested in either of them, I'll include a link in my video description so that you can pick it up yourself. And uh, if you found this review helpful and helping you decide which one of these uh, you want to get, uh, please hit the like button, the thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this. Thanks for watching. Moondog, out.